Hello and welcome to the Japan Information and Culture Center's new educational series on Japanese dialects. Today I'd like to introduce you to one of Japan's most famous and unique variations on standard Japanese, the Okinawan dialect. While many people think of Japan as having a highly standardized and homogenous language and culture, it is actually full of diverse regional and local customs and accents. In the past, the use of dialects was discouraged in an effort to promote a standard system of communication and a sense of national unity. However, while standard Japanese is still considered the norm for formal and business related occasions, dialects in everyday life are making a comeback as people embrace and celebrate their varied regional histories and cultures. For example, the slogan Gamba Pe, which means let's buckle down in the regional dialect, was used to encourage the people of the Tohoku region after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake struck. Broadly speaking, Japanese dialects can be grouped regionally. Regional dialects often share core similarities in pronunciation, intonation, and vocabulary. Let's take a look at the regions of Japan. Starting from the north, we have Hokkaido, Tohoku, Kanto, Chubu, Kansai, Chugoku, Shikoku, Kyushu, and finally the Ryukyu Islands, home to the Okinawan dialect we'll be learning about today. The Ryukyu Islands are the southernmost islands of Japan and famously include the island of Okinawa. The tropical climate and gorgeous beaches, as well as the unique local traditions, make the Ryukyu Islands a popular destination for both overseas and mainland Japanese tourists. The Ryukyuan culture blends Japanese, Chinese, and indigenous Ryukyuan customs into a unique mix of traditions and languages. There are three major categories of the Okinawan dialect. Uchinaguchi, or Okinawago, in standard Japanese, is spoken mainly on the island of Okinawa itself. Miyako Kutuba, or Miyako Kuchi, is spoken in the Miyako Islands. Finally, Yaimaguchi, or Yaeyamago, is spoken in the Yaeyama Islands. Let's look at a few common phrases in Uchinaguchi and compare them with standard Japanese. You'll see right away how different the phrases are. To say good morning in standard Japanese, you would say ohayou gozaimasu. However, in Uchinaguchi, you would say ukimisouchi. Hello or konnichiwa becomes hi sai. Thank you or arigatou gozaimasu becomes nifei debiru. And goodbye or sayonara becomes kubiri sabira. One of the most interesting differences between standard Japanese and Uchinaguchi is the method of counting cardinal numbers, used for example when counting objects. In Japanese, numbers are counted as follows Hitotsu, Futatsu, Mitsu, Yotsu, Itsutsu, Mutsu, Nanatsu, Yatsu, Kokonotsu, To. However, in Uchinaguchi, they become Tichi, Tachi, Michi, Yuchi, Ichichi, Muchi, Nanachi, Yachi, Kukunuchi, Tu. Finally, let's learn about a word of great cultural significance to the Ryukyu Islands. In the Okinawan dialect, the hibiscus flower, which blooms all over the islands, is called Akabana, which literally means red flower. It is also known as the Gusobana, which means flower of the other world. Akabana are typically offered at altars and graves and are deeply connected to the spiritual and cultural traditions of the Ryukyu Islands. For their cultural significance and because they bloom seemingly everywhere, the hibiscus has become symbolic of Okinawa. What did you think? Did you enjoy learning about just a few of the differences between the Okinawan dialects and standard Japanese? If so, be sure to check out upcoming videos which will explore some of the other interesting dialects of Japan. If you would like to learn more about Okinawa and its dialect, see some more resources linked below. Thank you for watching!